little more. That's good, that's good. Right there. And Kevin will be right here next to you, Lonnie. Make sure he knows that. Glamour shot time. You come in. Right there. Lonnie, pull yours for just a tad. Right there. It's good. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so we're with Ryan Thompson, RLT photography out of Logan, Utah. We're in, uh, we're actually on, in Garner Canyon, on the border basically between Montana and Idaho. We're trying to uh, get a glamour shot, a still shot, of the three uh, 800s, 850s for the deep powder challenge. And Ryan has got the sleds where he wants them, I believe. Yep. He's going to explain a little bit his thinking about how he positioned them, what he's looking for. I don't know if you can see the Tetons in the background, but that's the that's the goal. So what are you looking for today? So basically what we're looking for is a nice clean shot uh, with the snow in front that's untouched, which is why sometimes these are a work because you have to go around, bring the sleds up, and then have the riders step off the back of the sled back into their track and walk out of the shot or dip down behind the sled so they're not in it. Um, angle of the sun is great. I really like the angle of the sun. And then we've got the Tetons as a backdrop and all of the trees dusted with snow in the background really show the elevation. The nice thing too is that when you're shooting at this angle, something to keep in mind that a lot of people don't do with their photography is keep the ridge tops above the heads or the subjects, in this case the sleds. You want to keep the ridge tops <coughs> Um, higher than the actual top of the sleds. A lot of people make the mistake and get down too low and they have the handlebars and different things above the ridge top lines and the better shot is shooting with the mountains above the sleds in the background. So great lighting. It's a little bit hazed over which it's almost like a studio light so couldn't ask for better uh, lighting conditions to get this shot. So we're gonna get it. How do you want us to exit straight back or do you want us to jump that way? Uh, just straight back. And then you can either dip down in and hide and if I see you I'll let you know. Nice. And the idea here is I'm using a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. 2.8. So if I shoot it with it wide open, I'm going to get a lot of depth of field that's blurred out in the background. So I'm going to shoot it at about f8. Give me a little bit more visual on the Tetons in the background. We don't want them to completely be fuzzed out or blurred out. And you always want to make sure you're level with the horizon in the background when you shoot. We'll keep a little bit of this tree with the snow on it in the foreground. One of the things I actually do is I'll actually zoom in really tight <clears throat> on each sled and create a panorama out of the images. It does two things. It gives you a super high res image, but also allows you to be in much closer. There it is. How do we find your website? Uh, www.rltphotos.com.